COP28 will take place from November 30th to December 12th. Eventually, that's going to lead to the mark of the beast. So th there'll be another pandemic, and then they'll bring about a digital ID after that uh, pandemic. So part of the Paris Climate Agreement are these 17 goals, and it's for full control and full control of you and I. And uh, I call it the all-seeing smart card. And so it's the eye, eye over climate action, and it's for sustainability, monitoring, accessing, rating, and tracking you. And so it's an actually acronym of SMART. And the roadmap, the, the roadmap and comprehensive plan to control you is through the through the SDGs. This is the, how they're going to implement the Paris Climate Agreement for every human being and how they live until the end of 2030. So they have to transform every single human being within the next seven years and uh, through this plan. So this SMART plan is what I actually meant. Um, this agenda sets up for uh, the world for a tyrannical leader known in scripture as the Antichrist. On December 11th through the 12th of December, final negotiations will be underway to strengthen the Paris Climate Agreement for seven years. So on November 30th, they're gonna declare their plan of action that they will release to the parties their rough draft for the seven year deal. The first day of COP28 will be on the World Climate Action Summit. This, this goes for two days. The third day is for, they'll be discussing health, relief, recovery, and peace. This, this is the whole day that's re for peace and security on December 3rd. The fourth day is for finance, trade, gender equality, and accountability. So here we have the smart card being played out again. December 5th is on energy and industry and a just transition for indigenous peoples. December 6th will be a multi-level action, urbanization, and environmental transport. So they want to change the way how we move about. On the 7th of December is a day of rest. That's their Sabbath. It's a Thursday. December 8th will be focused on youth, children, and December 9th will be on nature, land use, and oceans. So December 9th connects with what King Charles wants to proclaim based on his document on May, May 5th to bring about 10 principles each year for the next seven years on how we should, uh, on land use and the oceans. And December 10th is on, on their control of food, agriculture, and water. And then December 10th through 11th and 12th will be final negotiations for their seven year deal. And they say peace and safety. Heralded Remember the dawn this? of a new age of peace. Fundamentally important to our own national security as well as... Uh...